Here he is, Craig Holbrook. And Craig comes in averaging 129, has a high single of 196, and his high three also is 472. Is he really from East Bridgewater, Massachusetts? I don't know where he's from now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he bowled mighty fine last week, so we'll see who can win it on this show here on Big Shot Bowling. Is it going to be the challenger, Tom Surrett, or our defending champ, Craig Holbrook? We'll be back with the first game, but before we do, we're going to break for these messages. Breaker with Dan Murphy, Tom Surrett to lead it off. And that he does with a drop of six or four. Six standing pops. <laughs> I just want to see if you're awake, Dan. You were yawning during was, the commercial yeah, break. Well, you know, I had a lunch and come back and kind of nappy time, you know? Nine down in the first frame. Now it's nine down because there's one standing. Is that how it you works? You get it. Something like that. Well, let's look at the three, six, four, seven. Piece of wood rolling in behind the three, six. Tom Serretta passed 10 time champ here on Big Shot Bowling. It's been a while since he's been with us. Uh, he was back with us on, in, in 85 is when he had eight consecutive, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight consecutive wins before losing to Dan Gallant. He beat Jack Ray, 353-301, Bob Donahue, 366, 353, and had a beat up on his brother real bad, 444 to 368. And then the next one was Phil Clough, and then Jack Sanick, who we saw last week. Bertie Duhamel, Tim Lipke in overtime. They tied at 399 apiece before Tommy won. And then it was Rich Hallis before losing to Dan Glant. And he came back with us in 86. That's uh, one strike. That's the first strike that Craig has had. And yeah, he had 14 spares last, last week. week. So the champ lifts off with a strike. And to finish up on uh, Tom, he came back in 86 and won two in a row by defeating Billy Hart and Paul Ottaviani uh, before losing to Peter Flynn. Came back on in 88 against Peter Flynn again and lost 410 to 405. Kind of catches you up on Peter Surrett. You mean uh, Tommy Tom Surrett. Surrett, Peter Surrett's his brother. So Craig Holbrook from East Bridgewater, Massachusetts, starts off with a strike nine, then gets himself a 10, and a total of a 29. So he leads by a couple of handfuls after the first two frames. Oh, nice ball. Tom looking for a spare. The winner of this show will be $200 to the plus, $100 for the runner-up, spare for Surratt. And when a guy wins a string, he wins $25. Also, if he gets a triple during the show, he'll win himself an Amagif valued at a couple of hundred dollars or thereabouts. Disappointing four on the spare. Yeah. And the trophies for the bowlers will be donated by George Gert Trophy Center located at 138 Southbridge Street in the heart of the Commonwealth in Massachusetts. That's Worcester, Massachusetts. A spare four, then an eight for Surrett, and a 41 after four. Last week. Craig Holbrook defeated Jack Sanek when he posted a 372 for his first victory ever here on Big Shot Bowling. And Jack, after having a couple of good weeks, uh, had himself a bad showing last time out with a 319 against Craig's 372. Nine frame for Holbrook. And he's in the driver's seat by five. 
Craig with an average of a 129. Been bowling candle pins for 17 seasons. The port cider in the one two pocket and brings down six. Dan, interesting lead. Well, let's see what happens with that seven. Now he's just going to go after the 610 with a wood and hope the wood snap off the wall, but not see much else. Could try the wood in front of the seven, but either one, he's got to get it moved. He gave it all he had. Each guy with a mark, Holbrook lifted off with a strike, and in the third, Surrett had himself a spare. Six up for the champ, 47-41. In the one-three pocket, all but the four pin. Or is that the two pin, Dan? That's the two, Bob. Yeah, let me correct that. It's not there anymore. I always brings a, uh, his brother and a few other friends that he gets them going. It's okay. The place is going to get a little noisy. Uh, he just knew it as soon as he let it go. Half wish to right. Disappointing two. So he had two marks, four on one and two on the other. Light fills. And back in the one two pocket. 53 after five in the first game for Tom Surratt from Tewksbury, Massachusetts, with an average of a 126. Making an eight, 61 through six. Surratt on the sideline and Holbrook up on lane. 29. All the action emanating from the Londonderry Bowling Center in Londonderry, New Hampshire, the home of TR's Tavern. Four nice. horsemen knocked down by the champ. Let's peek at it again. He did that last week, too, Dan. Certainly did. Just tripping that 10 pin. The second mark. Strike and a spare. Greg's average of 129. He's had two wins on the tour in four years. And an eight. Seventy to 61. Holbrook with the advantage after a half dozen in the first game. Surratt bringing down all but two. The three. And the seven. He'll have to shave it over. Ooh, nice try. Tom Surratt. He's been bowling candle pins for 30 years. His best high single of 192. His high triple, 472. In the one three pocket, the two and the five with some lumber sandwiched in between. And it's got to be on that two pin. And he wasn't, and it cost him. Score of that a 10. 80 with two remaining for Surratt. 70 with four to go for Holbrook. So nice to have you with us here on Big Shot Bowling. Seen around North America on the New England Sports Network. Wow. There goes the two pin. Yep. Bowler seems to want to take charge early in the match. Both bowlers missing the head pin. They're jabbing right now, Dan. Not that they want to be, but that's what's <laughs> happening. Surrett trailing the champ by nine, and the champ is opposite a 10 count. 
and he drops four. Holbrook eyeballing the situation down on lane 30. All the bowlers that appear here on Big Shot Bowling are members of the World Candlepin Bowlers Congress. Yes! Oh, nice spare. Excellent spare. Spare number two along with a strike for Holbrook. There it is again. And Surratt with the home run ball. Buries it in the one-two pocket for the strike. Looking for the double. That's his forte. When he gets going, when he gets in a good rhythm, he can throw some strikes. Oh! The eight was nailed to the pin plate. Thought he had the double. Looking for the spare. Got it. Finish with a flurry. 110 plus the ball to come. Through the middle. Oh my. Three. And a total of a one, 13. But as you said, he came on strong at the end. He was laboring. He was chugging along, and then he got the strike and then the spare, but a disappointing fill of a three. He had some light fills. Three, two, and four on his spares. That's not like Tom Surrett. And a fill of a seven for Holbrook on his mark in the eighth. He leads it by 16. Oh, yes. Make it two in a row. Spare it up. One, four, and seven. Clears those away with the help of the wood next to the head pin. A strike and three spares for Craig. Wow. A deuce. Half Worcester, left side, two and the eight. Still hasn't won the game. No. Needs eight. Wow. Found the bunny Sorry, hole. Needs six. Needs four more. Pick up the extra $25 in cash. He just does it. Plays it yes. safe. <laughs> he got it. Won it by a couple in the first game. The champ, Craig Holbrook with a 115, Tom Surrett with a 113. We'll be back with a... Holy Cross leads Fordham. No, it's <laughs> Holbrook leading Surrett by two. 115 to 113. Dan, have you ever been to Ireland? Uh, no, I haven't, Bob. Neither have I, but good Lord willing, we'll uh, get over there to call the action on WFTQ come fall. Tony Zernike making the call. He said the wood down there is in play. So Craig Holbrook will have to flirt with some lively wood. He's going to try to get by it, I imagine. And he Just does. Like that. Oh, nice shot. Craig lifts off with a spear. Let's peek at that one, baby. Just getting by. No problem. Made it look easy, Bob. <laughs> Candlepin Bowling, New England's number one family sport. That wow. look easy. No. Two on a spare. Both bowlers. Disappointing fills. In the first game, both guys had a strike in three spares, but Holbrook outpinned Surratt by two. 115 to 113. A spare, two and then a nine for. Craig from East Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Oh. Surratt, oh my. You gotta be good, you gotta be lucky, and that time, Tom had a bit of lady luck on his side. Big break. Hoping to spare. Oh boy. Miss Fires pulled the trigger, did not get the bullseye. Ten count for Surratt. Surratt trailing by four. 
in the one two pocket brings down a half dozen three six ten with the five over there score that at eight for Tom Neither bowler has heated up as of yet. Both bowlers really struggling with the timing and everything. That's, well, that's a couple times now that Craig has hit the headpin with that first ball. But other than that, they've been left and right, half whisters. Holbrook hoping to mark. Got it. He now has five spares in the match along with the strike in the second game he has a couple of marks both being spares he lifted this one off with a spare too he's hoping to better that count yes. and he does this time he leaves two standing instead of knocking two down three is wobbling but it's still up well, he's got the three and he's got the four but he's got a piece of wood in between two pieces of wood is not a fact he hits that three pin he might have a shot yep yes, sir he got it nice shot by the champ it's a kick the wood actually the one in the back kick forward Tom Tourette got a oh, ball big ball yes he exploded the home run ball in the one three pocket as he buries it Tom Surrett with an average of a 126, a past 10-time champ here on this show from Tewksbury, Massachusetts. Just caught the head pin, six fill. Oh, well, let's give him another ball and a strike, okay, Bob? Six drop, you're right, Dan. We'll give him one more. Nine on the strike. And a nine count. The next time you're looking for formal wear, I'd like to tell you who the formal wear specialists are. Mr. Tux, with two locations, 85 Worcester Road, Natick, Massachusetts. And the other location, 424 Belmont Street in Worcester, Massachusetts. That's Mr. Tux, the formal wear specialist. I'd like to thank Gary Levine for suiting me up so I could be here to be with my pal Dan and announce <laughs> this show. Ain't you happy that Mr. Tuck suited me up, Dan? I don't know. I got to pay for my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. One of these days, maybe I can cut a deal for you. Oh, nice out. Score at a nine for Holbrook. The midway point is 63 in the second game. 115 in the first for Holbrook, 113 for Surratt. Got them all. You think but but that the four. Craig eyeballing what he hopes will be a spare, and that it is. The spares aren't but the problem. The problem is that first ball. Last week, Craig had 14 spares, did not strike this week. He has seven spares along with one strike. A hop, skip, and a jump, and a drop of a half dozen. Two, four, six, ten. All kinds of lumber in the middle, so got two choices. Either hit the two pin on the inside or split them. That's what he tried to do. a lot of lost two seven count as he loses two as Dan just mentioned after the call by Tony Zernike our head official Tony is always on top of the action play the wood he throws it so hard he's gonna get the wood moving just a yep. matter yep coming back across <laughs> the sleeper in the back the nine pin Mixed it up. Watch this again. Looks like he missed it, but no, there's going to be more action off the sidewall. 
And we're going to break it right here after a half dozen in the second game. There it is. When we come back, both guys will be loading up on spares. Is the champ, Craig Holbrook. Craig is in the driver's seat by a dozen of the match, 10 up in this game, filling on a spare, and he gets them all but the four. Nice, healthy drop of a nine. Gives him 82 after six. And he's going to have to watch, play this very carefully. No problem. Got it. Spare ball has not been a problem for him. He's had some nice shots, some single pins. Had to negotiate some wood out front, a couple shots. Did that. But that first ball, last spill was a nine. He'll take that. It's right back oh, in there. Yes. He'll definitely take that one. Oh, yes. Home run ball exploded by Craig Holbrook. Six marks in the second game. Here's Surrett. Surrett back with a drop of seven, looking down at a triangle. Six, nine, and ten. He's got to keep the pressure up now. He's got to stay with Craig. Doesn't want him to run too far away here. Halfway through the match. Got it. Five spares along with two strikes for Surrett. Surrett down by 14. Well, not a bad break. Missed the head pin. Yeah. Three and a one went down. Leaves himself just a 6-10. An eight fill. Piece of wood in front of the six and ten. Hits the wood. He should have no problem. And he got it. And matches the three marks put up by Craig. So here we go. We're down to the final two in the second game. Looking for a double. Is the champ. Craig Holbrook. Holbrook last week had a win over Jack Sanek. Hoping to make it two in a row. This is only the third time he's been on this show. Whereas Surratt over the years, he's been around a whole bunch of times. In fact, he has picked up over the years ten victories. And at one juncture, as Dan pointed out, back in 85, he strung out eight consecutive wins. The record for the most consecutive wins is 10 by Peter Flynn, followed by Paul Berger's nine, and then Surratt at eight. That's good company. Flynn, Berger, and Surratt. Most wins ever here on Big Shot Bowling. Peter Flynn holds that with 15. John Zernike and Jack Ray next with 11, followed by Richmond and Surratt with 10. Then Berger with nine, Gallant with eight. Dan, you got about five or six, haven't you? Uh, I don't know about something, something like, like that. that. Three, five, three, six, ten with the four pin for Craig. Nice try. Stop counting, Bob. You know, it's I am close to one hand here. I am <laughs> running into trouble. So, and an eight. And a total of a 136 in the second game, along with a 115 and a 251. 251 after two for Holbrook. Five on the spare for Surratt. Light hit. And he gets a couple. An eight count. Surrett with a 111. So it looks like Holbrook is going to pick up another 25. So Tommy can cut the lead down to single numbers with a mark. Well, nope, not bad. The one, two, four, and seven. And a piece of wood that should help him in between the one and the two. Got to catch the head pin. And he does. And he topples them over. Two strikes, seven spares for Surrett. 121 plus this ball going for Tom. 
dropped it. Got two pins, the one and the eight. Wow, 123, is it? Yep, 123 in the second game for Tom Surrett. Two-string count of a 236. He trails it. He's down by 15. A 251 for the champ after two. Best in every Baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever, track, volleyball, the name is right there. McGregor Sports, number one in sporting goods and sporting apparel. Now let's get back to the action. And here he is, Tom Surrett trailing by 15 as we come into the final game. Surrett with strings of 113 and 123 in that order. Two string count of a 236. Got it. Lifts off with a spare. He now has eight spares along with two strikes. The past 10 time champ here on Big Shot Bowling. Oh. Drop of five on the spare. Could have been worse. Again, he'd like to hit that head pin, but one, three, six, four, seven. Piece of wood next to the four, seven. Just a little too heavy on the head pin. Failed to carry the 3-6. The executive producer of Big Shot Bowling is John E. Ligams. After a couple in the final game, 24 for Surratt. Here's Craig Holbrook, our champ. The father of one. A past two-time winner on the tour with an average of a 129, unloads. Drops five. This time we'd like to salute our crew, headed up by Bob McElroy, producer and director. Assisted by Tim Young, also on the team, Jay Benoit. And Sue Devara. Working cameras, Jay Ite, Doug Fraunholtz, and Karen Fraunholtz. We thank you guys and gals for a superlative job. Keep it up. Same leave, opposite side this time for Craig. Two, four, seven on the left with a three, six. Craig with a couple of open frames. A yep, couple of nines, climbs, 18. Climbs back to within nine pins. Nine pins is the lead for Craig Holberg. Punching out the half Worcester, the two and the eight, Tom Surratt. Bunny hole time. Actually fading to the left with his steps instead of stepping directly at the pins. Nice That's out. What he wants to do. Warming up of the bullpen is Jeffrey Surratt. Jeffrey, by the way, just won his second consecutive all events championship in the state of Massachusetts. In the age group from 6 to 10, Jeffrey Surrett, 8 years old. We congratulate him. It's one of two years in a row. He has two more years in the same age group. <laughs> and as I said, we're war he's warming up. That's right. Down on lane three. If uh, Daddy starts to falter, we might have our first substitution in the history of big shot bowling. That's right. Yank him. He could throw a ball before he could walk. <laughs> Tom got the spare. We forgot to mention that. He has a couple of spares. Is there more than one uh, bowler in that family? Well, I don't know. I haven't seen uh, Kristen yet, but... Uh, we know Jeffrey right, I know I've seen Kristen, but I don't know if she, if she bowls, but... I'm sure if she has, doesn't, she will. Yeah. Once again, we Jeffrey's congratulate been. Jeffrey for winning the title for the second consecutive year. Oh, boy. Yeah. No time for Craig to start floundering now. Five box. 
The lead is now down to five pins for maybe, Craig, but he's maybe, opposite of spare. Maybe Jeffrey will come in and replace him. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! Oh, what a try. Nice out. A superlative try. I've heard that word before. If that had gone over, it would have been superlative spare. Yeah. Tony Zernike cleaning out the uh, lumber down on the pin plate area. Last time Tony was down there, he uh, injured himself. Yeah, twisted an ankle. Be careful, Tony. Right, we need you in the game, Tony. Tony, That's got it. up, jump, nice and boy. clean. So anything over five on the fill, Tommy Surrett will take the lead. Tom Surrett hoping to grab the lead right here on this ball from Tewksbury, Massachusetts. And that he does, a drop of seven. Let's see, he's gonna have to go after the single pin, which is the two pin. And try to cut it on the left-hand side. Wood might give him some help. Yes, yes. it does! Oh, ho, ho. Nelly! He shook his head because he wasn't, he didn't want to come this full. Watch the ball hit the wood. The wood twists in between the six and the ten and knocks them both down. Back live, Surrett Phillip with a five. Tom with two strikes and ten spares. Our statistician is Dottie Larrick. Wow. Cheryl Young keeping the scoreboard that you see at home. And our head official making all the calls, Tony Zernike. And an eight. They're five and eight, so. 73 after a half dozen of the final game for Tom Surratt. Lead is two pins now for Tommy Surratt, so Craig Holbrook finds himself short, and he comes right back oh, with a strike. home run ball. Got them all. His first mark in the final game is a strike, looking for the double. He can regain the lead with anything over a seven fill. Holbrook unwinds, and he gets a half dozen. Looking down at the diamond leaf. Three, five, nine, and six, moving from left to right and around. Oh, split the diamond. He grabs the lead back by a single pin. He can increase it by a couple while knocking these two down. He's opposite an eight frame. So back and forth we go. Ten count, and we're going to break it right here after a half dozen of the final game. It's a close one, Danny boy. We'll be back for the final four, so stick around. Trailing by three in the match. Leading in this game by a dozen. Brings down a half dozen. Looks like it's gonna go right down to the final frame. Yes! He's right back. Surratt now with two strikes and 11 spares in the match. And this one, he has recorded one, two, three, four spares. Filling on the spare. A fill of seven. Seven, but a difficult spare oh, leave. Yes. The kingpin. And then off to the right, the six and the ten. Um, on any spare work on the king. On every spare leave, you have to give yourself a chance of making this spare. You want to hit something down to get something moving. And a nine. 99 with two to go for Surratt. A 61 with four remaining for Holbrook. Holbrook came into this game leading by 15. Total of 26 pins, those two frames for Tommy Surrett, so he's got to be have at least 23. And to stay even. target was Craig. One, two, four, and nine. Oh, almost on target that time, baby. Important pins. So a nine, a 70, down by 20 in this game. In the match now. Five pins the other yep. way now, Bob. Surrett has the lead by five. Wow, and a one. 
by Craig Holbrook. Holbrook laboring. Oh, nice one in the pocket, but he still has four standing and a tough one. Four, seven, left side, six, ten on the right. He's going to lose a few more and count. And he one gets more. eight. So the lead is now six pins. So Tommy Sretz gets one mark that puts Craig into a two mark situation, assuming he's going to get more than five in the spare. If he throws two marks, it'll put Craig into a double strike situation. Oh, there's a good ball. Two and five left. Yep. It's there. Let's see if Surrett can convert. Looks good. Oh! Just took out the two pin, left the five. Craig raises a sigh of relief. So whatever happens now, That's Craig ten. will have a chance to win it with two marks. Surrett with a 109. Tommy would really like to put one up here. No. Makeable spare, two, four, five, and seven. If I was him, I'd like to play it in the two, four side, though, because the wood in between the two and the five could cost him the shot. Got oh, it. You got it. Play it on the two, five side, too. Yes. 12 spares, two strikes, one ball remaining. A 119 plus a ball to go for Surratt. The key here is a, a minimum of four pins. That'll put him in the double figures. That'll make Craig Holbrook throw at least two marks to win the match. Oh, and he just got four. They get five. So it's a two-mark situation for Craig Holbrook trading, trailing by, well, six now. And he's got to figure he's trailing by 11 because of the spare five. So a 124 in the final game and a three-string count of a 360. So Craig Holbrook will need two marks. Two marks, as Dan just pointed out. Yeah, that's one, of, one them. of them. On the strike, Craig Holbrook with the home run ball looking for the double. That doesn't really mean anything, Rick, except the fact that he hasn't had a chance to miss a spare. He still needs another mark. Wants a decent fill. More important is the mark. Looking for the double. Looking for the win. Oh, my. Not going to be easy. Oh, my. Not going to be easy. Wow. The 10 and the 4 with some lumber. He's and trying. to tell you how to play it is our expert, Dan he the wants, Man. He wants that wood to come out further. Well, Let's see if we can get a peek at the wood. Yeah, here it is. Thanks, Bob McElroy. Well, I would try probably try to clip the, the cap of that front piece. He's got to get all the wood moving. Here he goes. No, I don't think he's got an angle. Oh, yes! Come on! Got it off the oh, sidewall! Wow! Right. To be very honest, I didn't see it. I didn't see that. Do we have it? Watch it, didn't baby! Didn't see it. Didn't see it played that way. Just enough to get all three pieces of wood moving, and that one just came out of the channel to clip that 10 pin. The strike on the spare. There's your winner right eight, there. And oh, a victory a for shot. Craig Holbrook picking up his second in a row. Had the lead, lost it, and came back and won it with pressure pack bowling in the ninth and tenth frames with a strike and then a spare eight. And there it is, a victory of seven pins for Craig Holbrook, a 367 to a 360. When we come back, we'll see if Craig Holbrook can keep it going and win himself a trip to Ireland. Compliments of Travel Couriers International of North Pro. was an exciting match, Dan Murphy. Uh, can't get any more exciting than that. No, I don't think either of them brought their best bowling with them, but it was certainly was exciting for the people at home to watch. I don't think Tommy probably thought it was that exciting, especially <laughs> the last two boxes. Now let's bring up the runner-up, Tom Surratt. Come on up, Tom. Let's hear it for Tom Surratt. Come right into the middle here. Tom, you were down. You had it. And then this guy came up with a strike and then a superlative spare to beat you. Yeah, well, the only reason I had it is he kept me in it. He kept getting lousy breaks. Uh, you know, he, he bowled better than I did today. I, every time I get a mock, I'd go through the middle or whatever, but... Yeah. He come out with a big shot at the end. That's what 
That's what counts. That's why we call it Big Shot Bowling. That's right. I try to throw that plug in. <laughs> Tommy, who did you bring today? Brother Peter? Uh, yeah, Peter's standing in the background. Yeah, there. Peter's dying to get on. <laughs> it's been a long time since he's been on. I think the last time he was on, you drilled him right here. Uh, that's right. <laughs> you got it. You did, you did. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that game, yeah. huh? Yeah he, rem yeah, he remembers it well, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have 100 bucks and also uh, a trophy from Great and Trophy Center. Always nice having you with us, a nice. past 10 time champ. Do you remember what you hit against your brother that day? Uh, 444. That's no, right. I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> nice going. Thank you. Let's hear it for Tom Surratt. And now let's bring up Mr. Holbrook on lane number 30 to see if he can start up with a strike. And if he gets a strike there, he'll go to 29. and. Then back to 30, Dan. You know how it all goes, right? And maybe to Ireland. I think they know at home, too, Bob. You think they're all home watching this? Oh, they, oh yes. Everybody's waiting to run to the potty, and here we go. Oh, he's going after an Amma gift right now. No, no Amma gift in this shot. It's almost an impossible shot. There's Peter up there. He's uh, waving to us. <laughs> he can't wait to get a hold of you, Bob. No. Come on in, champ. Let's have a nice round of applause for Craig Holbrook. Craig, you got to be good. You got to be lucky, and you got to be good. And you were good at the end. A strike, and then that superlative spare. Well, it was a three cushion spare, really. It's it, kind of a lucky shot. I threw the ball as hard as I possibly could, and back and forth it went and went over. Well, congratulations. A couple hundred Thank bucks, you. some bonus money, trophy from Gert and Trophy Center, and some words from the man, Dan. Glad you didn't listen to me the way I would have played it, because you wouldn't be standing here in the winner's circle. <laughs> nice How would you have played it, Dan? I don't know. I wouldn't have played it that way, though, but he made it. You know, that's, I, I don't know. I, did, I didn't see it, but uh, he did, and he made it. So, uh, I don't know well, if I saw it either. It's just a spray <laughs> and pray shot, I think. Yeah. And how about next week, Ed Zernicke? Ed Zernicke, right. Ed Zernicke coming up. Doesn't ready? get any easier. No. no, I guess it doesn't. Well, congratulations. Uh, nice having you with us, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Let's have a nice round of applause for the champ. Let's hear it for the champ, guys. <laughs> this is Bob Foraker with my man, Dan. It was exciting, buddy. It was. It was. Next week will be another or the same. Yeah. And, of course, uh, we hope you'll all be back. Uh, Ed Zernicke will be the challenger. Until then, we bid you a pleasant goodbye. See you next week.